Good day everybody! Welcome to the first video tutorial of Group B, IT170 Emerging Technology Students. Our first video tutorial is on how to connect NetBeans and the Microsoft Office Access. So in my PC, I have installed here NetBeans 6.9.1. Well, the latest version of NetBeans is 7.0 and installer is available on the net. And I have here my Microsoft Office Access 2007. So I have already made a database. So now I need to configure the ODBC JDBC bridge in the control panel. so we switch to the classic view so that we can open the administrative tools afterwards we go here in the data sources odbc here and then we have here the user data sources and we need to add Okay, and since we are using the Microsoft Office Access, we select the Microsoft Access Driver, MDB, ACCDB, and click Finish. So we have here, we, have, we need to fill up the data source name. So I put in my database. And we need to find our database. Since I saved my database in Drive B, so I have to change the location of this drive. So as we can see here, the name of or my database is automatically added here in the database name. And I click OK and the database is added. So I now click OK and my user data sources or data source is added. And now I click OK and we have already configured the bridge of our NetBeans and the Microsoft Office Access. Now we establish our source code. So in my NetBeans, I have already made a new project, Tutorial 01, and I have added a new Java class named MyConnection. So I will be putting the code of my set connection here. So here we go. We need to import the java.sql library. Next, we declare our connection. Java is a case-sensitive programming language, so we need to be very careful of what we are typing here. So notice that the J here, the O, and the D are uppercase. Manager. That, yeah. And here is 
the user data source name. And they should be in quotation. Open and close. So here is our code for our connection. So now, how about testing if this code really works? So let's view first our database. So here's our database. See, so in our database, in the table named student, there are five columns. So we have the student ID, the name, the course number, the year level, and the sex or the gender. Now let's view this table in our NetBeans. So where's our NetBeans? So we make a JFrame form. So we name this one a student list. So here's our form. And since we'll be viewing the table, we need to add here a table. So that's our table. Okay. Now, we change the variable name of our table. So let's put it TBL students. And again, we need to also to ch we need also to change the specification of our table or our table contents. So in the columns, we need five columns. So we insert after this one, we insert another column. So the title of the first column is student ID. The second would be the name. course, your level, and the gender. So in our row, we need to put in here 0 so that when we close that 1, the vacant rows will be, won't be shown. So here it is. So basically, the tables in our or the student table in our database will be shown in the table here in our frame. So now let, let's code in the, the source code. Okay. So we import the necessary library files. It's not only array, it's everything. Now we declare our variables. So here is now our code to display the contents of the student table to that TBL student table we have here in our NetBeans. So now we are going to reestablish our connection.
so basically here is our whole code to view the student table so now we're going to build clean in the build And now we are going to run our program. Here it is. As you can see here, so we have the student ID, the name, the name, the course, the year level, and the gender. Here it is. So if we're going to compare it to our database student table so we have also here the student id the name the course number the year level and the gender so basically our code or our connection is successful and it will work so there ends our first tutorial i hope that you learned something from from our first tutorial and watch out for more tutorial because we'll be uploading more so thank you everybody and have a good day